I was asked a question recently. What is a wonder walk? How is it different to just walking outside? For a wonder walk, I turn off my phone. I open all my senses and my heart, ready to follow curiosity and witness beauty. Since I started this practice, my life has been transformed. On every walk, I come away reminded of how magnificent and beautiful our world really is. And this practice also revitalizes me. It helps to keep my creative river running. And I'm curious, Wonder Weavers, what practices nourish your body, mind and spirit? I'd love you to share with me in the comments below. Hello Wonder Weavers, there's a little bit of magic in the air, Easter's just around the corner and I hope that you're ready to uh, have a beautiful celebration and lots of fun. This week I had a couple of serendipitous moments. Uh, first of all I found a new house to renovate, uh, it is a bookcase in the shape of a house and I thought this is going to be a great project. So I'm wondering have you ever transformed or converted a bookcase into a, a dollhouse or some other kind of diorama? I'd love you to share. Also this week I've been working on Cordelia's bed and also my first bear. Uh, she's adorable. I love looking into her face. And I want to thank those of you who have kindly offered your name suggestions. We have a beautiful collection of names so far. Topsy, Honey, uh, Lily and Daisy. It, it's really hard to choose. I'm going to have to sit down and have a chat with her and see which name she feels is right for her. So uh, thank you again, Wonder Weavers. Let's overcome this dollhouse dilemma and finally create a bed for Miss Cordelia's room. Miss Cordelia is patiently waiting for a bed. If you recall, several weeks ago I mentioned that I had made a rail bed for her tiny room. This was a simple design using balsa wood sticks, dowel rods and craft sticks. But when I attempted to put the bed in the room, I discovered much to my embarrassment, that the bed didn't fit. I had miscalculated the bed's width and length. It took me several weeks, but now I'm ready to try again. I changed the design slightly. I decided to cut the head and foot boards of the bed and balsa wood sheets. This gave me the opportunity to practice carving and to also incorporate other features such as geometric designs. After sketching the design on the board with a graphite pencil, I first start by cutting out the small areas of waste in between the rails. And as you will notice, I'm once again using my awl 
and my hobby knife to do this. This method is quite labour intensive, but I'm quite happy with how it's turning out so far. As you will notice, for decoration, this time around I've added a geometric design, which includes triangles around a diamond, and inside of the diamond, I carve a smaller one. Next, I spend some time sanding all of the parts of the bed. These include the bed slats, which will hold the mattress. The slats are simply craft sticks cut to size. After painting all of the parts with watered down acrylic paint, I start to assemble the bed. Using PVA wood glue, I glue a slat to the headboard and footboard. Next I glue the sides of the bed, which are craft sticks cut to size. Later, I glue the remaining slats horizontally to the sides of the bed. So far so good Wonder Weavers. A few months ago I made a bed for the master bedroom of the dollhouse and I'm going to follow a similar process when making the linen for Cordelia's bed. For Cordelia's mattress, I'm going to use calico. I cut the fabric following the bed's length and I double the width so I can fold the fabric over and only have to sew along three sides. I then fold the fabric over, pin it, and this time around, instead of using the running stitch, I practice my back stitch, leaving a margin of around half a centimetre from the edge. After sewing the sides together, I turn the fabric inside out. I then make sure that the sewn fabric fits and it's good. I fill the bag and then close the final side with the closing stitch. Right now the mattress looks like a big cushion. To help flatten it, I sew rows of short stitches across its body. I cover the mattress with a small piece of fabric, following the same process I also make a mini pillow.
The final item I make this week is a quilt. For inspiration, I take a look at Victorian examples. On the screen is an example of a 19th century crazy quilt. Often bright and mosaic-like, this quilt type was very popular during the Victorian period. Quilters often used whatever thread or fabric they could get a hold of, and as a result, they created such unique pieces. While I do love the crazy quilt, in the end I settle on creating a star pattern quilt. And one reason for this is because I'm fairly new to sewing. I create a simple six star pattern. I trace it and then transfer it to a piece of calico cut to size using carbon paper. The stars sit in three by three centimeter squares and I make sure to trace their guidelines as well. Next, I cut six stars from fat quarters. To make the pattern bright and interesting, I make sure to choose different colors and patterns. And instead of pinning the stars to the fabric, I use a little bit of glue to hold them in place. I only add the glue to the calico in the middle of the star. And this is because I don't want to stiffen the fabric making it difficult to sew the stars to the calico. Next I sew the stars to the calico using the applique stitch. For each star I select complementary coloured thread. Once I've attached all the stars, I turn the fabric over and pin it to a second piece of calico, which is the same size. And then just as I did for the mattress, I sew the two pieces of fabric together, leaving one end open. I then turn the fabric inside out. Then for wedding, I cut a piece of wool felt. And slip it inside the little bag or the quilt in the making. And as a finishing touch, I embroider the squares using the running stitch. I close the final end with the closing stitch.
the quilt fits. Now inspired, I make a second quilt for the first bed. Are you ready Cordelia? One, two, three. Surprise! The mini dilemma is now solved. Cordelia has a bed. Thank you for watching Wonderweavers. I hope you have a really beautiful Easter. I hope that it is peaceful and joyous. And um, thank you again for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to sharing more with you after the Easter break. Until the next time, take care, stay well, and don't forget to play. Adios. Ciao. Who's first to get into bed? I think it is Muffin. <laughs>